The first set we have here is Lego Eternals Aerial Assault. So you're going to get this Wing Deviant build as well as two of the minifigs here. Obviously you're going to have Icarus as well as Sprite who is an exclusive minifig to this set. Uh, Sprite really is a pretty good minifig honestly. Um, I wish that Lego would give us more of the uh, bendable small legs. I think that would be very nice. They gave us some in the Looney Tune minifig, so I know that they can do it, and hopefully we can see some of those very, very soon. But this, uh, all in all, is a great minifig. And then we have Icarus here, who kind of has a little bit more of a boring uh, outfit here for uh, just generally who he is as a character. Um, there's no spoilers in this, but there are some subtle spoilers here. Uh, if you guys know, you know. And then taking a look at this Wing Deviant here, it's honestly pretty accurate to the movie. I just don't really like it. I'm not sure what it is about mechs this size. Um, I'm not I'm not really sure. It kind of looks like that one Pokemon. I can't remember its name. But anytime I see a build like this, it just uh, I'm just always reminded of that Pokemon. Um, the wings right here honestly do a pretty good job of resembling uh, the movie. You can see the photo right here, as well as these three claws. The Deviant does have the three claws, and this does kind of look like that photo right here of the Deviant flying. But yeah, if you enjoyed this set or you want to collect all the minifigs for the Eternals, there are 10 of them total, and Sprite is definitely exclusive to this set right here. You're going to need to pick this set up, and it is just $9.99. The next set we're going to look at is Deviant Ambush here. This one runs for $24.99 and has 197 pieces, including three really great minifigs. So you're going to get this pretty large uh, Deviant build. This one is much better than the last one. This has six legs here, as you guys can see. Uh, I will get a close-up shot so you can see those legs. I really like these legs. They look really good. Um, I think they're a nice design, honestly, just for the design purpose. But they work for the legs. So we have four legs back here, and then we have these two uh, big bashing arms right here that you could really do some damage with right this thing is comparable to a rhinoceros and you can see the actual um, deviant in the movie right here on this image and kind of compare that uh, to this deviant right here i do like these uh, for this build i don't like them everywhere i don't have all the little uh, horns on this one I, I don't think i fully completed uh, this one, but these are a little bit strange on this one. I guess I'm being a little bit picky, but the jaws of, of this Deviant do work right here, so that's kind of fun. You could uh, maybe fit a minifig in there and just have some fun scenes set up. Now to talk about the minifigs, you're going to get three. The first one here is Makari. This is a wonderful minifig and honestly just a great character. Uh, I love the hairpiece on this minifig and really the skin flesh tone is really nice to have for a headpiece, so that's really cool and also has alternate uh, faces all of these do so that's really wonderful to get uh, some different flesh tones uh, for some hands and uh, faces you get Thena here who has a unique staff and a really nice print I like the tan it's a little bit different than the skin tone here uh, so that's really cool uh, again I say there's no spoilers but there's some subtle hints uh, in the minifigs then we have Gilgamesh here as well who comes with these weapons uh, they're supposed to be kind of two-tone molded, but uh, not necessarily. I think mine got a little bit uh, different here. So this one's kind of more gold, and this one's a little bit more orange. This one's more like what it's supposed to be. This is probably my favorite of the Eternal minifigs here. I love those little hand pieces, and I just love the gold and uh, green color combination. It's really great. The next set we have here is In Airsham Shadow, and this is one of the two bigger sets here and does retail for $60, but comes with this wonderful mech build here that you can see sitting on the ground uh, holding that minifig, which is Ajax, who is exclusive to this set, as well as Kingo right here. So let's go ahead and talk about the minifigs while we're looking at them. Here is Kingo. This is honestly one of the best minifigs in this collection. I love purple, and I love this minifig, and this character is very funny. I love how they put the face print in for Kingo to be kind of like a funny uh, face print, so that's really uh, standing for his character. Next we have Cersei. I have this sword, so I went ahead and added that with her. Uh, we've got double-sided face prints on all of these minifigs as well. She's smiling over there. Great hairpiece and all in all, just a generally pretty good minifig. Uh, there's no back leg print on any of these minifigs here, but uh, they're very detailed other than that, so it's pretty cool. And then the last minifig here is Ajax, who is exclusive to the set, like I said. The leader of the Eternals right here. I love that they gave her kind of like a gown. You know, they did the best they could with the print there. And again, there's no back uh, leg print here. You can pop her hair off and you can see the prints on the back. Very detailed, all these minifigs. I like the gold. 
uh, and just really all the colors kind of looks like the rainbow and then of course we have Airstrom himself the mech build this thing stands about 30 centimeters tall has a ton of stickers on it really uh, depending on how you feel about that this mech does have a ton of stickers you can obviously leave them off there's a bunch of translucent pink elements you can see throughout the build here uh, gives it a really nice color this thing can move in all different ways the elbows can move the wrist can move that's very nice you got some stud shooters there on the top of the hands as you can see uh, both hands have those there's some plates right here that are uh, builds that you attach with clips that go over and basically create shoulder blades. Uh, those are very nice. I really like this mech in comparison to some of the other mechs. Obviously it's bigger than most mechs and so they can do more but I like the use of the ball joints. Just all the joints in this one work much better. These are the click clack uh, clunk um, in the instructions those kind of joints and really it's nice because it's a really big mech so it's nice to be able to lock things in place there. I love the helmet. It looks great. Love the six sides on it. They did a very good job with that there. And then, of course, we have a light brick in this set as well. And it's back here. Bing! Lights up his heart, right? Uh, basically, his energy or his power right there. So that's really cool. And finally, we have Rise of the Dumbo, the biggest of all four of these sets. And it does retail for $89.99 USD, but does contain 1,040 pieces, two exclusive minifigs, six total, and two deviant builds, as well as the spaceship, the eternal spaceship right here, which is the Domo. So we can go ahead and look at the minifigs here. We're not really going to go into further detail on the four that we've already seen, but we do have Icarus. We have Makari here again. We have Thena, and we also have Cersei again. And then we have two exclusive minifigs right here. We have Fastos and Druig. I think they did a really good job with these minifigs. Fastos, again, is one of my favorite. I love purple, and that combination with the dark blue is just wonderful. Of course, we have that gold in the outfit as well. It shines uh, very good. He is kind of like an engineer, so it does make sense that he's in this set. We've got two face prints right there. Not a whole lot different. It's kind of a straight face and then kind of an angry face there. And then Druig. Very good minifig that did the best that they could. Uh, it would have been nice to have some kind of like a cape or something that hangs down uh, in a similar fashion to how I feel about Ajax. Uh, they could have done more, but again, we'll see what uh, happens with the Eternals in the future as far as the MCU goes and uh, as well as the Lego sets in the future. Here we have Crow. Definitely my least favorite out of all the Deviants. I probably dislike the little miniature winged uh, Deviant worse, but... Crow is just terrible. And it's kind of disheartening to get basically a different version of the Sentinel build, right? It's pretty much the same size, generally the exact same. Uh, this was a print piece on the chest, and this one here was some stickers, but you do have a molded headpiece that's pretty unique. Uh, that's probably the best part, but it's like if you're going to go ahead and do the molded headpiece, you might as well just, you know, like do a molded chest piece or something else going on there that's uh, kind of cool, but. Uh, all in all, all these deviants, it's kind of nice to have four or five different deviants and set up kind of some scenes through the city or maybe some uh, little battle scenes in a display or diorama. And finally, to the best build of all these sets here in the LEGO Marvel Eternals line is going to be the Rise of the Domo ship, the Domo. Uh, this thing does open up. It's a nice triangle. It was really nice to see uh, how they built that and to learn uh, from that. It's very similar to uh, the corner garage, like I said in my stream several times. Uh, by making the uh, triangle with some wings and stuff uh, and just kind of building the walls up around that. So this thing does open up in several different ways. These large circles here on the top are stickers. These three, the larger ones are prints, I'm sorry, and the smaller ones are stickers right here. Sticker, 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 sticker. These are pearlescents, uh, nice pearlescent dome. You got pearlescent dome right there, as well as some pearlescent uh, tiles here, and these are all sticker tiles down the side. You have pearlescence, you know, you kind of get the pattern that they're going for here. Uh, there's no window in this ship. I thought that was a little bit weird. Uh, just, you know, learning that the Domo doesn't necessarily have a window. You've got a couple stud shooters up here, which I think are, of course, weak. I think the stud shooters are weak just in general. Uh, right here, you can't see too much inside of here. But I think this is kind of like an engineering lab or something in there. Uh, these things do move right here, so that's very sweet. Kind of reminds me of the Guardians of the Galaxy ship in the front there. Uh, it's very similar to the Guardians of the Galaxy ship. You do have some stickers here, and I think there actually is a couple prints, but mostly stickers uh, to create kind of the electronics in the front there. Opening this one, you can see there's some weapons here. So we have spare weapons, Gilgamesh weapons. We have 
uh, Athena's uh, spare weapons here. And then you kind of have a, lab a laboratory back in here. This middle section opens up and you can see uh, some nice design work with some gold elements there. I like that tube, how they have that set up. It kind of does look like uh, some shocks, but they say it's kind of like a weapons room. Around here you can see kind of like the miniature Airstream build that they have set in, uh, sitting right here. And this is supposed to be like the engineering lab or the laboratory. You can open this one up as well on the other side to see um, the uh, some more weapons right here and then the pilot area. This is where they drive. There's some tools in there. We've got a metal detector. I thought that was really nice. You get uh, like some gold tipped microphones, uh, some really cool stuff as well as a video game controller, an umbrella, a crowbar. They give you some really nice stuff in here. And of course you have the coffee maker Easter egg. You've got to have a coffee maker in a Lego set, right? This thing looks pretty cool when it's displayed like this. It is kind of hard to display when it's closed up because it's a triangle. I'll show you what I mean. It kind of just lays there like it was in the beginning, right? Uh, and it'd be nice to have um, some kind of platform like the Fender Stratocaster really is what I was thinking because I do have one and it was sitting right next to it. But just kind of puts this up on like a 15 to 30 degree angle uh, and it would look really cool like this. But most of the time it's just laying down like this and it's just uh, really a beautiful set on the outside. I love it. It looks really good on the inside too. It's nice to open it up and see a bunch of color. See all kinds of green, all kinds of gold. Uh, really reminiscent of the uh, movie line itself, The Eternals.